Okay, uh, Rishi's up. He says, new battle plan executor here. It looks like a lot of what Howie Schwartz used to do in the early days of IM. Great stuff. Okay, I'll take your word for it. I don't know who Howie Schwartz is. <laughs> that's, that's a name from, from like 2008, 2009, man. That's, that was the guy, my time then. I think, uh, I, think, I think the guy got pulled up by Google security in, in one of their – I can't remember exactly what happened. You, we'll, we'll have to. I'll have to look that up later. But something happened in one of the. The guy got <laughs> a lot in Google's nerves. So that's a good name to see, man. And thanks for buying the the battle plan, Rishi. Yeah. Apparently, you guys. That was just a year or two. I started in 2010, so that must have been right before I got involved at uh, internet marketing. So, uh, my question lies. I'm sorry. Go ahead. You were too young for that. Yeah, well, I wasn't too young. I just hadn't started in digital marketing yet. That's all. <laughs> uh, my question lies in having enough first doing more than necessary and getting slapped. I'm a YouTube-based affiliate marketer starting in a new market. For this, I have set up one email address, which I used to create over a dozen other web properties and implemented the battle plan. I've also siloed my YouTube videos as per the bonus. That's great. I'm glad to hear that. My question is, is that enough or should I be creating more and more web properties like I am keyword-based content um, or can this one network with the siloed videos on YouTube provide me enough horsepower and bring enough traffic to my videos. No, for videos, guys, uh, for you specifically, Rishi, if you're doing um, YouTube stuff, go go nuts with networks, uh, your syndication networks. Add as many networks to your channel as possible and not just tier one networks. In other words, not just where the YouTube channel triggers syndication to networks. Um, I would recommend also creating second, two, you know, two tier networks. And if you want to go beyond that, you certainly can. You can go, you know, third tier networks, fourth, four tier networks. I don't recommend that only because it becomes a bitch to manage. I've always preferred to stop at two tier networks, which means, uh, and again, if you've been through syndication network training or syndication academy training, or if you purchase a two tier network from MGYB, which we will set it up for you. You could always go back through and reverse engineer it. If you know how to, if you know how to build a, a single tier network that's triggered directly from the YouTube channel and then you see a two tiered network, you'll, you'll, you'll know how to do it because you're just going to use the RSS feed from the blog properties on this, on the first tier network. So like blogger, Tumblr, WordPress to post, uh, to, to republish to the second tier network. And, um, it's very, very powerful. And the difference guys is with YouTube, there's no footprint issues. If you use the applets the way that we teach, okay, if you start importing the video descriptions and republishing them and all that kind of stuff, you can get Web 2s terminated um, and that can look spammy. So I don't recommend that. I recommend that you do exactly what the applets, the way that we designed them, because I tested all that stuff, guys. And it, there's a reason why those applets for video syndication networks were set up the way that I did, because there's no footprint issues there. And the reason why is because all you're acting as is, is a publisher for Google at that point. Because all you're doing is syndicating Google embed code and then a link back to the channel and or a playlist. That's it. So like, again, I don't see how that could ever be an issue and it's never caused a problem. And so what I say is like, usually when I was, when I was, I still, I, I have a lot of aged themed uh, video syndication networks now that I use. So I don't, I don't really build them anymore or even buy new ones for that matter. Um, but when I was doing a, a lot of that and building a lot if I was going to test a new channel, like a new niche, a new industry, um, then what I would do is immediately go with two or three two tier syndication networks attached to the channel right off the bat, like right out of the gate. I'd have at least two or three two tier syndication networks. So that's essentially four syndication rings per per network, two tier syndication network. Right. So I would have anywhere between eight to 12 syndication rings being triggered from one YouTube channel right off the bat. And so I would recommend that, yeah, I mean, go nuts with that. As many as you feel like building or buying and, you know, to, to, to add to your arsenal, do it because it's only going to get, um, make it better and easier for you to get results from your videos that way. But I would recommend also, Rishi, to go back um, to the last couple hump day hangouts that from, from last week and I think the week before, especially, uh, I know last week we talked about it, but this is over the last several weeks, let's put it that way, we've talked a lot about how one of the magic secret sauce things that you can do besides embeds and backlinks, which is kind of traditional SEO for videos guys is just push a little bit of traffic into them and watch the magic happen. Then it's, it's like, it's like it comes alive when you just push a little bit of traffic. And I'm not talking about just shit spam traffic that you can buy from Fiverr gigs. Although there is a little bit of a benefit to that, but there are ways that you can use YouTube ads, for example, 
to push traffic into videos uh, specifically that if you've got embed th them cascading through an embed network, your own syndication networks, whatever, and you've applied some traditional link building and things like that, you start pushing a little bit of traffic into that whole system and you'll see that like everything, it'll start to rank really, really well. And again, um, Rishi, if you didn't know, that order bump, uh, which was one of the things you could have purchased in buying the battle plan about uh, Google Ads Pro or Google, was it Google Ad, Local Ads Pro or something like that? I don't remember what you guys called it. Yeah, it's uh, the uh, Killer Local Ads Training. Yeah, the Killer Local Ads Training, which was um, essentially the YouTube training I did specifically showing how to do what I'm just talking about. Um, that was an order bump. And if you didn't get access to it, well, we, you may be able to if you reach out to support. Adam, don't kill me if, if I'm wrong. <laughs> <laughs> for saying that but, I later to kill you <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's no. something I would recommend that you do because it's gonna really really help but yeah don't worry about footprint issues with uh, as long as you're using the applets the way that we teach you're gonna be good to go stack as many networks as you want okay anybody want to comment on that no I like that uh, and, and still uh, and embeds work really well for YouTube videos so if you combine the power uh, at some point it wasn't even funny like it was really broken the fact that you could go live and embed in a bunch of places and then you will rank first <laughs> instantly not for injury attorney but for something similar but uh, embeds still work really well so if you pair yep. that at live streaming uh, it's still it's, it's very well still up that uh, 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 lethal combo so yep yeah, so focus on building up your primary network that's branded for your YouTube channel. Typically, you want to brand that your your you know your that that's like your branded network for a channel, right? That's the one that you really want to build up. Um, as far as like additional link building to the network properties is perfect for that. So, uh, and by the way, we have that we have that available on the back end. Uh, I don't think we have the public page up yet, but the, the link building service in our store, guys, um, is going to be available very very soon. I promise. Um, so that's what I would recommend is that you continue boosting that your your branded network for your channel. But then, like I said, as far as uh, you can build persona based channels and just or or similarly themed channels, right? That uh, or excuse me, networks th similarly themed networks that you could stack as both tier one networks as well as tri trigger tier two networks. Because what I found through testing, guys, was that. If you have like, let's just say that you had 10 syndication rings and you had them all triggered as a tier one. So they were triggered directly from the YouTube upload or live stream. Um, then a lot of times you'll get really quick rankings from that. Like you'll get the, the videos will, will jump to, uh, you know, to page one or page two right off the bat. But then they'll start, they'll start to slip down in the rankings rather soon compared to if you were to take those same 10 rings and let's say you did three. Uh, you know, uh, two or three two tier networks out of those instead, then they, they, it might not rank as quickly, but when it does rank, it tends to stick longer. And at least that was, you know, I haven't done a hard test on that now in probably two years, but that's was, uh, I did extensive testing on that several years ago. And I found that when you use the two tier networks, they tend to stick longer. If they, even if they don't rank as quickly, they tend to stick once they rank longer, if that makes sense. Okay. That's a good question too. We're going to keep moving. 